as a pretty sensitive guy, do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> I don't see that every day, do you? No, exactly. And I'm pretty sure he's single, too. So what are you going to do about it? What, do you think I should go and make a bit of a move? <laughs> go for it. Holiday. They came back yesterday. I wear them every day, uh, apart from today. They're in my pocket. Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> Shit, I forgot the words. Do you think he noticed? What are you doing? <laughs> Stacking shelves. And what are you stacking the shelves with? I know. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You're going to say that I shouldn't have done toilet duck on all of the shelves. <laughs> every shelf in every aisle in the whole supermarket. Yeah. The whole supermarket stacked with toilet duck. Is it? Yeah, it is. Sorry. What are you thinking of? I don't know, I was thinking, and then I must have started thinking about something else. And... <laughs> Just when I'm a complete bender and toilet duck the place. I must have got distracted. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't good enough, Melanie. I mean, where's all the potatoes, the shampoos, the... <sighs> I could get a fine from head office for this. So if I'd done something like this, I'd be crying. How do you think the customers are going to react when they see all this? Quite surprised. <laughs> You're not a supermarket, you sell one thing. Well, I expect I thought the toilet duck would run out at some point. <laughs> I'll unstack it. After sucking. <laughs> Please don't suck me. <laughs> Doesn't really help anyone, that, does it? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello. Met on before. Hello. I'm after. Can I help you at all with a new range of colours? Colours, Hi, excuse me. I'm looking for a self-help book. Right, so it's over there under self-help. Help yourself. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what I'm after is something for a woman. Right. Who's in her 30s. <laughs> maybe called Jan, who's in a long-term relationship, um, possibly a bit too long-term, and she's not sure if she should stay with a man and have children or start again and move on. Right. Have you read Should You Stay With A Man And Have Children or Start Again And Move On? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a bit vague, not specific enough. Mm. I want something more about men called Bob, actually. <laughs> We've already done the marriage thing and kids thing and don't want more children. Men who are selfish like that. Right. Have you read Bob and How To Survive Him? Yeah, I didn't know. No. No. Dumping Bob. If only. <laughs> the inner Jan. Ooh, very scary. Something more practical? Delia Smith's cooking for Jan? Not that practical. No, something more about Jan moving to the Lake District and, uh, and becoming a vet. Gorgeous boyfriend, who could be a vet too if he felt like it. With a chapter on how it can all get a bit hectic, but it's saving baby animals, for God's sake. 
Land Rover, snow sometimes, friends bring round stew, babies, babies, who knows? Um, have you got a book on how to become that? Just go, Jan. Just go, Jan. Yes, I like the sound of that. No, it's not a book. <laughs> So, Steve, tell us about that goal. Well, you know, Darren played a great ball in and I was just lucky to be there at the end of it. And how did you feel? It must have been a very fulfilling moment for you. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, Darren played a great ball through and I was just there to get a lucky toe on and it went in. Yes, but how did you feel? I mean, you're coming back here for the first time, playing against your old club in a cup final. What was in your heart? What was in your soul? Well, you know, Darren played a great ball through and I was just there on the end of it to make it all come together. Look, we're talking about the last minute of extra time, penalties looming. Did it tap into something deep within you, something raw, emotional? I mean, what I'm asking is, how did you feel? Well, you know, Darren played a great ball. No, 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 ball. not Darren played a great ball anywhere. Just tell me how you felt. I, uh... Yes? <sighs> I thought. Not thought, felt. Yeah, um... <sighs> I felt. Yes, tell me, what did you feel? <laughs> I felt. <laughs> yes, I know, it's hard. Let it all come out. Let it all come out. I, I felt. <laughs> oh, why do I hate my mother? <laughs> I shouldn't hate my mother, should I? That was a wonderful party. Yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> and you looked absolutely stunning. Did I? Yes, you did. Does she have to tell you? Well, tell me really. I have. I am called well, Jonathan. She has every day for three years. She's oh. called Jonathan. That is what she is called. Bollocks. <sighs> is it really only three years? Mm. Have you got any ID? No, of course I've got any ID. I'm a hostage. Okay, look, shh. I spy with my imagination something beginning with oh. SS. Seasick. I must say, these are excellent references. Thank you. Four languages, very useful. Microsoft Word, full HGV licence, lots of one-to-one -one contact with the public, it's good. There is one thing that isn't down here. What would that be? We will need to know. Are you lovely? <laughs> oh, yes, I am lovely. On a scale of one to ten, how lovely are you? S six? Seven? That's more the level we're after. You see, we do insist that all our employees are lovely at all times, but I think it's fairly clear that you are lovely. Thank you. Now, money. Mm, could you be lovely for, say, four pounds an hour? Four pounds an hour? Well, that's what we'd start you off on. I see. Mm, some applicants feel they might not be so lovely on that kind of money. No, 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 no. Uh, that's not a problem at all. Oh, really? Absolutely. Uh, that'd be lovely. Lovely? Well, I'll see you on Monday, then. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Thank you.
lovely PC Barnes. <laughs> this has got to stop, Melanie. What? I've just had a call from Mrs Arlo. PC Kane, I believe this involves you as well. <laughs> I think you better tell me what happened, don't you? Well, we arrived at Midmore Drive at um, 11.28. Rang on the doorbell, Mrs. Arlo answered it, and she was surprised to see us. We said, um, can we come in? And she said, yeah, and so we went in, and we sat her down, and we said, um, we are really sorry, but we had found her husband. And that he was dead. Right, go on. Well, she became extremely distressed almost immediately, and she was wanting to know how, and so we told her. I told her about the multiple stabbing and it being probably an accident. You did all this with your faces painted like Spanky the Weasel. <laughs> well, we, we thought it would soften the blow, brighten things up a bit, you know? Um, things aren't so bad after all. <laughs> right, and I, I really must check this. You, you then painted her face? Yeah. She sort of went into shock, you see, and we didn't, we didn't really know um, what to do, so we... We gave her a Spider-Man. Yeah, she's extremely angry, isn't she? Yeah, well, you know, she was she was walking back and forth, you see, like that. So you imagine it's very difficult to get the webbing straight. But to be fair, you could still tell it was Spider. Right. What you've done is an interesting idea, taking it a little bit too far. You know, this was grossly insensitive and very, very bad. <laughs> Mum, can I just say, though, in our defence, though, that when we were painting Mrs Arlo as, as Spider-Man, and um, she was doing that, and Greg was trying to hold her still, and the red was going down her neck, and... It was very, very funny. <laughs> Just lose the zoo! <laughs> I think she is very angry this time. I think on a scale of one to ten, she's nine. She's nine, angry. nine and a half. Change your name to Jonathan so you could like join a golf club. Actually, can you actually can you just stop it now? I think I had a beard or something. Well, it's good as do. <laughs> you like the man in a lesbian no, relationship? No, I'm not. Oh god, I can't stand it. So if she was the man in a lesbian relationship, then then that would be okay, would it? Well, yeah, it'd be better. <laughs> Jonathan. What is wrong with being called Jonathan? Will you stop doing that with your face? There's only so many irritating things I can deal with. I used to like her. I used to remind us of England. Yeah, well, that was before we found out she was called Jonathan. No one's ever asked me my name. <laughs> What's your name? Mark. <laughs> Hello. My name's Claire. I'm uh, self-employed. I like, um... <laughs> Volleyball, backgammon, and uh, mucking around in the garden, that sort of thing. Um, that's it, really. Uh, oh, um, I live in Epping. Hello there. My name is Eric, and I work as a bus driver. My hobbies include darts, crosswords, watching um, television. <laughs> I'm quite interested in finding the right lady settling down. I think I'd make a good husband and father. I'm not a woman. <laughs> not. <laughs> I live in this house with three artists. One's a bassist, she's kind of sweet. Not very good. You know... Playing the bass, right, is, well, it's my life. Um, I, I live for playing the bass. Um, it's not really good for my ears, but um, I don't care. Just don't care. 
The other one's a ballet dancer. I don't like her much. Who's been using my clover? I want to make a sandwich and there's no clover. What? I went to make a sandwich and there's no clover. All right, I'll get some later. Even though it's not my turn. I must have it now. I have a punishing schedule. I don't six, seven hours a day. They don't understand. We've got, like, a bit of a rapport together. Um, because we're both musicians, I guess. And, um, rock music and chamber music's not really that different. <laughs> but, um, you know, we just really don't like the ballet dancer. I don't like her at all. She's like, if you're chilling out, she just like pirouettes in front of you all the time. Just in your face. She's so bendy. Bending everywhere. The ballet is the greatest physical high anyone could ever have. You can never understand. I'm in constant physical pain. Hi, guys. I'm not a guy. I happen to be slightly muscular because I am a ballet dancer, but I am not a guy. What? <sighs> Ow. I sometimes have to do this to my lips because they get quite sore, my embouchure. No, I have, I have to have a clover for my embouchure. That is mine. It's sore. No, it's very it's... sore, my embouchure. Give it to me! Hey, I've got an exam tomorrow. Oh, good luck, mate. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you know, if I die, I, I'd really... I'd like to come back as Bill Wyman. <laughs> It'd be so cool. I can play a bit like him, I think. Hello, I'm Tara, and I shout my own name during sex. Not just once, but over and over again. And if I'm really enjoying myself, I shout my whole name, Tara Jane Elizabeth Fanshaw, and occasionally my nickname, Mallard. So if you haven't got a problem with this, give me a ring. Or indeed, if you shout your own name during sex, ring me. <laughs> My name is Marcy. Uh, I live in London and I'm an independent film maker. <laughs> and I'm hot. I'm shit hot. And I want a man. I want a man who who gorges himself on today after sicking up yesterday and who has already ordered double helpings of tomorrow. So if you, you, you want to fuck art. Screw artifice, shag an artist. <laughs> Call me. And cut. Fantastic, thanks, Bill. It's a wrap. You know when you were born, did your parents... No, they didn't want a boy. I've got two elder brothers. Yeah, what they call Mary and Tina. Andrew and Rufus. Rufus? Mm. That's unusual. No, it is. They're sort of hippie liberals. Oh, I like that. Is it a stage name? No. Are you a Mormon? No. <laughs> 20 questions. Are you alive? Yeah. Are you Elvis? Yeah. <laughs> excuse me, madam. Madam, excuse me. Excuse me, madam. Would you like to try some mace? I'll get you if it's the last thing I do! Um, wacky races, wacky races. Um, and the hooded girl, too. What about this girl? Oh, 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 Let me do it! Oh, 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 Bagpuss, bagpuss. Okay, I've got one right. I've eaten the lemon. 
<laughs> Ay, we done lemon. Well, it's fatty cows. Oh, come on, you must know fatty cows. It's brilliant. <laughs> fatty cows? Fatty cows, fatty cows, doesn't play with other songs. <laughs> Bomb the chicken. <laughs> No? Oh, it's brilliant, Fatty Cows. Maybe it's just a, an age thing, because I'm a bit younger. I remember it. Big, big cows. Fat ones. Pigs. Jonathan. Who's born with that name? Shut up! Medical reasons why you're called Jonathan. 